When you hit a lull on your campaign, it's, it's terrifying. You freak out, you can't sleep, and you're like, I put all this work in and I'm never gonna make it, and, you know. And I found that what got me, oh, there were a couple of lulls, and what got me through that was that I would write out notes to my backers and I would come up with pictures to post or just something to say to them. Or um, at, one, at one point I put in a couple of new rewards, so I let everybody know about that. I think ways of continuously engaging or at least trying to bring in new audiences uh, Post your content everywhere, for one. Uh, really try to engage the, the following that you've cultivated before you got the project started. Uh, but then also for those who maybe have already visited or who are on the mailing list, uh, posting uh, updates on where you are in the progress of developing uh, the work. Try to like keep it active, keep it lively, keep it energetic. Don't just kind of let it die in the middle. Um, I did video updates, you know, so just updating people with video, um, which is different and I feel like more interactive than just a tweet or a post on Facebook um, and brings people back to the page that way. You have to talk about it every day. You have to think about it every day. It's not just, it's not just, it's not just free money, you know? It's like, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. No matter what happened, though, I always made sure that I was putting a positive face out there because in the end, I mean, overall, even though there were moments when I freaked out, I was having a lot of fun with it. And I just had to like make myself stay in touch with how much fun I was having. And I so enjoyed meeting all the new people that I met, my new backers, that, you know, I just try to stay in touch with that feeling of, oh my God, here's a whole bunch of new friends. What else can I tell them today?